Good afternoon, everyone. It is indeed an honor and privilege to be here again today for National Go Red Day and hosting uh, the city, city of Columbia's recognition of this great day. Thank you all so much for being here. You all look fabulous in your red. Um, this sea of red is beautiful uh, for more reasons other than I'm a Delta. It's great to see a whole sea of red. <laughs> But thank you so much uh, for being here. Uh, the City of Columbia has prided itself over the last several years uh, with our partnership with the American Heart Association in recognizing February as Heart Month and specifically recognizing today, February 6, 2015, as Go Red Day in the City of Columbia. Uh, we all know that heart disease is the leading, leading cause of death for women, and one in three women are affected, and I'm sure the statistics are, are a lot more than that because if you all talk to your sisters and your mothers and your girlfriends, there are a lot of people who have issues with heart disease that um, they really did not know about it. And so it is our hope that as we continue every year with this effort, we bring attention about how important this is um, as a city, as a community, um, as mothers, daughters, and fathers, and brothers, because you see we have men here every year who support us as well. It's just very important that we bring attention to this um, and, and encourage our sisters to get checked and know their risk factors. Um, it is so important that we think about how, it, how this is preventable. Um, it is amazing as I, every year I look at the statistics 80% of these cases are preventable. And so if we get checked, if we know our numbers, we can decrease the incidence of heart disease. And so again, it is my privilege to be here as a spokesperson for the city and bring you greetings on behalf of our Mayor Steve Benjamin, who couldn't be here today. Um, but, um, well, not really representing him. I think she used to be here before he was here. But our First Lady, DeAndre Benjamin, is here with us. Um, but on behalf of our mayor, and yes. Uh, but this is an important issue. She used to be here supporting this before he was mayor, so we want to make sure that people know that this is a. <laughs> um, but um, in behalf of all of our members of city council, um, two of which are with us, um, our mayor pro tem, Sam Davis. <laughs> and our own Leona Plow, who um, <clears throat> is, is here. Um, and she has um, recently had a health scare as well, and so um, I think she certainly would, would also echo how important it is, um, as she shared with everybody, is to know your body. We as women, we, we oftentimes are so busy taking care of other people. We are being the mothers and the daughters and the caregivers, and we're running 100 miles a minute, and we don't recognize, and sometimes we'll have something and we just kind of set it aside and say, oh, I'll get that checked later, or I just could be tired. Um, but we have to understand, we have to know our bodies, listen to our bodies, and, and care for our bodies. Because if we don't care for ourselves, we won't be here to care for the other folks that we try and take care of. So it is so important that we, we recognize that. Um, also with us, I did want to recognize uh, Representative Beth Bernstein. Beth, you stand, please. Uh, and um, Beth texted me this morning and said that she certainly wanted to be here um, because she has a coworker who has been affected by heart disease. And so I would like to recognize her and, and all survivors, women survivors of heart disease, if we have any here, if you all would please stand so we can recognize you. Thank you, ladies. We are so um, honored to have you here with us. And, and it definitely um, brings it home as to why we do this and why we will continue to do this every year um, until there is no reason to do it anymore. Um, I would like to rep uh, bring forward for some remarks um, part of our partnership with the American Heart Association, which we'll talk about a little bit later, some other things that we have. But we have Sarah Schooneman, who is the Vice President of Development. And Sarah is going to bring some remarks on behalf of the American Heart Association.
Thank you all for being here, and thank you, Councilwoman Devine, for having us here. And you are certainly a tremendous advocate for our cause um, out there, and I'm impressed at how educated you are about women and heart disease. So thank you for sharing that message out into our community. Um, I'm Sarah Schuneman with the American Heart Association, and it's such a pleasure to be here today to promote Go Red for Women and National Wear Red Day. So thank you all for sharing with us. Um, as you know, Go Red for Women is a national movement to drive awareness around women and heart disease, as well as a call to action for us to all make lifestyle changes and live a heart healthy life. Um, as Tamika said, it is the number one killer of women, and in South Carolina, over 5,700 women will die from cardiovascular disease. And so, it is something that should all be at the top of our minds, but there is good news that 80% of cardiovascular disease is preventable, and that's through education and action, and we, we must take action to live a heart-healthy lifestyle. And so, um, here in Columbia, we're doing some exciting things. We've created a campaign to drive awareness, and I'm sure you've probably seen red dresses painted on storefront windows out there to promote Go Red for Women. Um, you certainly, um, are, it's not too late to get involved, so we would certainly love you to join us, at, but we've had great response, and look for those red dresses on the storefront windows out there. So thank you all for being here, and I really appreciate your support of National Go Red for Women Day, and now um, Go Red for Women Day in the Midlands, and thank you, Councilwoman Devine, for hosting us and being such a tremendous advocate for our efforts. I think together we can impact our sisters, our mothers, our daughters, and our girlfriends' lives, and I appreciate everything that you're doing. Thank you, Sarah. Um, and again, on behalf of the city, and, and just wanted to bring, you all know today is a shadowing day. We've got lots of young people with us. I want all the young people who are here to please stand yeah. if you are shadowing somebody. Oh, wow. um, um, but this just also just brings home um, another point. You know, as a mother, um, it is so important that we take care of ourselves so that we can take care of our children. Um, and, and I think years ago when we started this, this is one thing that DeAndre and I would talk about is that, you know, we'd be running and running and sometimes you just want, want to push and you want to stop and we say, you know, it's not just about looking good in a red dress but it's about being healthy so that you can be here for many years for your children. And so um, I just think it is just poignant um, on behalf of the city, we want to present a proclamation to the American Heart Association, but I'm gonna let Kennedy, one of our, our um, shadowees today, present this um, proclamation in her beautiful red sweater. So Kennedy, if you present this to Sarah for me. Yes, if you don't have to leave out the thingy. Well, yeah. yeah. City of Columbia, a proclamation. Whereas diseases of the heart are the nation's leading cause of death and stroke, it is the fourth leading cause of death in America. And whereas card is cardiovascular. cardiovascular disease claims the lives of, lives of over 421,000 American females each year, approximately one death per minute. And whereas each year, 52% of all deaths due to cardiovascular disease and 60% a stroke deaths occur in females, and whereas too many women die each year because they are unaware that heart disease is their number one killer, and whereas nearly as many women die of heart diseases, stroke, and all other cardiovascular diseases than the next four leading causes of death combined, including all cancers, and whereas February is destinated as American Heart Month, and whereas Go Red for Women is the American Heart Association's national call to increase awareness about heart disease, the leading cause of death for women, and to inspire women to take charge of their heart health, and whereas making the right choice relating to proper nutrition, physical activity, and other healthy lifestyle choices are central to living a heart healthy life, and whereas the City of Columbia urges all citizens to show their support for women in the fight against heart disease by commemorating. commemorating National Wear Red Day by wearing the color of red to help save thousands of lives each year by increasing awareness, speaking up about, speaking up about heart disease, and empowering women to reduce their risk for cardiovascular disease. And whereas, by choosing to make it your mission, you can save lives. Now, therefore, now, therefore, on behalf of the City of Columbia, we do hereby proclaim National Wear Red Day in the great city of Columbia 
and urge fellow citizens to recognize and participate in its observance. And, and Sarah. Great job. Great job. Thank you, Kennedy, and thank you, Sarah. <coughs> And before we take our fabulous red picture, um, I wanted to just remind everybody of a couple of special announcements and, and how the City of Columbia will be recognizing uh, February as Heart Month. Beginning today, you, you've, as you drove up to City Hall, you saw on outside of City Hall, we do have the red dresses out there. But starting tonight and every night for the month of February, City Hall will go red. And so it will be illuminated in red um, for the entire month of February. So if you are downtown this, um, uh, in the evening, swing by, take a picture, take a picture of yourself, take a, a, a go red selfie in front of Red City Hall and uh, tweet it to us. Um, we also will be um, asking those people that you know who might be going red today that couldn't come out here for lunch and, and be with us. Um, we are encouraging people to do um, go red selfies. I know nationally they're asking people to take, take selfies and to use the hashtag go red selfie. We also, um, American Heart Association has the hashtag go red Midlands. But here at the City of Columbia, we also have the hashtag go red Columbia. So use one or all three. We'd love for you to use all three. Um, take selfies, take pictures, and, and, and um, tweet them to us, put them on our Facebook, and, and so that we can show that community, um, the community that we have here in Columbia, and, and making this a very important issue. And then two weeks from today, um, for those of you, uh, men and women, um, but we are certainly encouraging our women, we will have um, our first, last year was supposed to be our first, but the weather didn't cooperate with us, unfortunately. You know, of all years for Columbia to get snow, we got snow in January and February. Um, so we're gonna try it again this year and hope that we don't get snow. Um, but we are um, going to have our first Go Red Walk, which will be Friday, February 20th at 12 p.m. We're asking people to meet us here at City Hall, and we will walk to the State House Beth, um, and that will bring attention. Just imagine if, if people, if we see a, uh, a sea of women um, going down to the State House in honor of Heart Month. So we ask you to join us for that event. Um, and then um, last but not least, something that I'm very super, super, super excited about, we will have on Friday, February 27th, we will have our inaugural Go Red Fashion Show. Um, we have partnered with um, a lot of our local vendors um, and some, some national vendors, and we will have a fashion show at the Columbia Metropolitan Convention Center that evening starting with a reception at five o'clock and the fashion show will start at six. Tickets are $30 and um, you can buy tickets from us here at City Hall and then hopefully within the next week or so we'll be online. I'm looking at my people to say yes, okay. We'll be online where you can purchase tickets online as well, um, but we are asking that people um, come out and support, so have a great evening with great fashions. Um, and I'm, I'm looking and I'm winking, uh, hopefully our first family will be modeling with us. Um, <laughs> and several members of city council will be modeling with us. Um, they're red attire and we've got um, Miss uh, High School South Carolina uh, as well as several other people will be modeling. So it'll be a great event and um, the majority of the proceeds will go and stay right here in our community with the Midlands Heart Association, just with the exception of the, the top expenses we have, every, everything will go to the American Heart Association. So we're hoping that this inaugural event will bring even more attention to this issue and not just bring attention, but raise money for the American Heart Association. And it's so very important um, that in order for us to get the education out there, these great ladies need some money to do that. So we're hoping to, um, in addition to the awareness that we've brought in the past couple years with this inaugural event, start um, raising money for the American Heart Association as well. So we're really excited about that. So um, without that, um, I always check and make sure with the staff that I'm not missing anything. 
Okay. All right. All right, so now we are ready for our own community selfie. Um, I'm not sure it's a selfie, but our community photo. Um, and so if you all would join me, we're going to step up a little bit and get right here and take our picture, and it will be shared on Columbia's social media, media Facebook, website, Twitter, everything. <laughs> 